Today's Peekaboo Mom recipe is chicken denio with a side of sauteed broccoli rabe. And this is a super simple recipe with three ingredients. It comes from my friend, well actually my friend Chris Cahill, but my friend Peter Denio kind of co-opted it and now we all call it chicken denio. So it's equal parts um, Lipton or whatever brand onion soup mix that you like and a cup or so of French dressing and about a cup of cranberry sauce. And you can use jarred or um, the cans, as long as they're whole cranberries, that's the key. You don't want that kind that you serve on Thanksgiving with, uh, with no chunks in it, because it's better with whole cranberry chunks in it. So you just stir those three ingredients together, mix them up really good. Once that's all mixed together, you're gonna pour it over your raw chicken and just sort of baste it in. Now I have this in tin foil for easy cleanup. And I'm just gonna sort of close this up, but not all the way. You could also um, do it in a regular pan if you're using more chicken in the oven, but I'm today making it in my toaster oven because I like to use that for less of a mess. And I'll pop that in at about 350 for about 20 minutes or so. And while that's cooking up, I'm going to make um, some side of broccoli rabe. And what I like to do is a quick blanch of the broccoli rabe. I just have it um, in its container and I just dip it straight into boiling water for a couple of seconds and then shake that out, bring it over to the sink and rinse it under cool water. That's my version of blanching. I know normally you're supposed to dip it in an ice bath, but who has time for an ice bath, right? And bring that over to the cutting board and just give it a rough chop. And then once that's chopped up, we're just going to actually um, saute a little bit of sliced garlic and some walnuts in our heated up oil. Mix that around a little bit. and then bring our broccoli rabe over and pop that right into the pan. Now this is really quick to cook because we just cooked the broccoli rabe already essentially. So I'm just basically cooking up the garlic for flavor and stirring it around with the walnuts and that should be good to go. Okay, we're just gonna plate this up a little bit of broccoli rabe there. And we'll get our chicken out of the oven. And oh, that looks good. This is nice, it's got that sweet and sour taste together, which is such a nice combination. And we'll just take a little bit of chicken and broccoli rabe and give that a taste. And for more recipes, you can check out peekabooMom.com.